welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul video today i have a pretty little thing haul for you guys um this is actually my second time recording this video but i didn't really like the my lighting in the first video so i decided to do it over and i actually added a few pieces so today we are just going to get right into the video this is not a sponsored video however pretty little thing always has good sales so i figured if i'm going to do a haul i might as well you know shop smartly so or shop responsibly but anyways guys the first item that i'm going to start with today is actually this hoodie that i'm wearing right now this is my second time wearing it but this is the part that i really love about it is the zigzag back and it comes with the string so you can adjust it and make it tighter or make it looser but i think that is so cute it's just a gray, good, gray hoodie, and I have it on with these um, faux leather top shot pants. So these pants I actually wore today with the hoodie, so that's why I have them on. But everything, everything else from this video will be from the haul, so stay tuned. So the next item I'm going to show y'all today is this corset long sleeve top. And I actually wore this, um, I paired it with another pair of jeans from this haul. But it's just a corset top that has buttons. Let me back up a little bit has buttons going down so you can connect it and you can wear it off the shoulder if you would like or you can kind of wear it up on your shoulder i'll insert a picture of me wearing it and it's like a satin material like a a mixture of satin with a mixture of satin with cotton so it's not very stretchy and i purchased this in a size eight a us eight which is typically my size was my size with pretty little thing. The next item I want to show you guys today is this sort of turtleneck open back knit top, which is super cute. I wore this on my birthday weekend with a pair of joggers. Super cute. So it does have like a turtleneck detail. And then it has the strings if you want to tie it in the back to make it fit tighter in the front, sort of like the hoodie. So you can adjust it to be tight or you can adjust it if you want to let it go and be looser down here, you could do that. Hey guys, and the next item I have are these gray joggers, which are actually really, really good quality. So I'll hold them up. They are scrunched at the bottom. And I did pick these up in a size 8 because I like for my joggers to fit with a little bit of room but not be too baggy. So these are 8 which is my typical size and I'm um, pretty little thing. And I just picked up the gray. And I also have a tie-dye pair so I'll be showing that to you guys next. But again I'll insert a picture of me wearing these joggers. I'm not going to do um, you know like a try on like I did in my other hauls. Because I feel like I don't always wear the items from my haul all together. Like I might wear, for example, today I have the pretty little thing top on with the top shop trousers. And I just feel like if it's a haul video, everything that I'm showing you should be from the haul. Next, we have another pair of joggers. We have another pair of joggers. And these are tie-dye. So I really, really like the tie-dye detail of these and they are scrunched at the bottom again i prefer for my joggers to be scrunched at the bottom it's just something about it and if i wanted to wear these with sneakers or if i wanted to wear them with heels all i would have to do is pull it up a little to give it like that baggy look at the bottom which is super cute put these up and i actually haven't worn these yet but when i do wear them i probably just wear them with like a top a white top and my denim jacket the next item i want to show you guys so we're kind of moving over out of the loungewear you know little category right now but it's just this leather top which reminds me of those zara tops with like the poofy sleeve it's this leather top but it has the poofy sleeve has the padded sleeve and this quality guys is super thick like the quality is really great so I just want to show you guys a little bit more of what it looks like. And this I picked up in the size medium. I felt like the small would be a little bit too small for me because I have bigger arms. So 
the medium is a little bit roomy but i'd rather for it to be roomy than to be too small so i actually picked up these leather bikers faux leather bikers and i wore these together on my birthday weekend so i'll insert a clip of that as well but it's just these brownish color joggers bikers and i did pair these together so you know just a little idea of how to style them i'll create i'll put together a styling video for you guys that's not necessarily a haul like just how i style different items together i think you guys would like that a little bit more all right so next i have this satin top which i didn't wear yet but i do have another one in black and i did wear the black one super cute so this is just the champagne color again everything that i'm showing you guys today is a size eight or a medium because that's the size that i wear in pretty little thing so it's just a champagne color and it has a pretty good length to it so you can wear these with shorts you can leave them out you can leave it out or you could tuck it in couple different things you can do with that and I'll insert some ideas for you guys so that's that next thing I have for you guys today are these jeans which I really like because not only are they distressed I'll show you a bit of the distressed detail so not all not only are they distressed at the knee they also have this nice split detail at the bottom that I really like so I felt like that was super cute if you wanted to wear these with like a pair of heels I thought that would be pretty dope and I haven't worn these yet so I'm going to put like a little boomerang or like just a, li a little small video together of how I would wear them and then insert it just so you guys can see how they fit me because they fit pretty well and these are a size 8. So I will be leaving the, a link down below for each of the items in case you guys wanted to purchase. Then you could just click directly on it and then go from there. Alright, now these jeans. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is another pair of jeans. Now, I did get a size 8 in these. But they do fit a little bit funny because I have a small waist. And then I have like really big hips and a big butt so the eight did work it just was a little uncomfortable around this area but what i love about these jeans is the detail at the bottom so you would think this is the waist of the pants but it's actually the ankle like the bottom of the jean has that detail i thought that was so dope and I actually wore these with that white corset top. So I'm going to insert that video just so you guys can see how it looks on. A lot of times we order stuff from these websites and we're not really sure, you know, how it's going to fit, how it's going to look on. So I like to give the curvier girls an idea of how things are going to fit. So those are those. Next, I have these leather shorts and I had the dopest idea for these shorts and I wanted to do like a birthday look with them but i didn't really like the way they fit for that look however i can still wear them maybe with a hoodie or a satin top so i'll insert what i did do with these how i did style them um the fit is not my favorite but you really can't go wrong with a pair of leather shorts especially if you want to do like an over the knee boot or something like that you can even do like an ankle boot a booty you could do sneakers with a blazer like you could do a couple things with that but i'll show you guys um how what i tried on with it because i didn't actually wear that yet so these are the leather shorts and these are a size eight but like i said they just fit funny so they did fit my waist but they were just super baggy on the thighs and me being shaped the way i am it just wasn't very flattering for me so i'm going to wear them but i'll have to try to find a way to like make them fit me a little bit more snug in that area all right so the next item and th this is probably besides the jeans these pants are my favorite from the haul i've already worn these like three times so 
They look like just an average pair of faux leather pants or joggers. But then when you get to the bottom, as the split detail. So the way it lays over your shoe is just really different and super cute. Zara also has another pair of pants like these that aren't leather, aren't faux leather. It's just like a spandex material. But the leather look gives these like a really dope finish. So I actually did wear these and I wore them with a blazer. So I'm gonna insert a picture just so you can see how they fit me. And um, I think I think the eight did work for me. It was a little loose around the waist because, like I said, I have a small waist for somebody that has, you know, the size hips that I do. But I think the six would have been too small, so I'm going to stick with the eight. All right, guys. So next, I have the hoodie that I'm wearing now in black. So turn it around, and it has that same lace-up detail back there. And I did wear these. I, would, I did wear this, I should say. I wore it with those leather joggers. And then I also paired it with a fedora top and some heels. So I'm just going to insert a picture so you guys can see how the hoodie fits. I'm wearing a medium and it fits me pretty snug. I'm still in about 165 pounds. So that should give you guys an idea of, you know, what sizes you should order. Next, I have this faux leather skirt, which is super, super, super cute. I wore this my birthday weekend again and I actually wore it with a Balmain t-shirt and some um, Golden Goose sneakers. I didn't really love the look because I feel like I'm short so the skirt kind of swallowed me a little bit made me look frumpy but um, the original outfit that I was going to wear for these I was going to do like the marine stair top with this and a pair of tall boots but you know, time came calling and I just didn't have enough time to find what I needed. So I tried something different. And I mean, it was okay. I'll insert a um, picture so you guys can see. But the quality of this skirt, super thick. This is this skirt is really cute. Super thick. The pleats are really cute. But I think I would just style it differently next time. Like maybe not a t-shirt, but maybe like a long sleeve. Maybe the black satin top that I have that I'm going to show you guys next. Or I could even do this with the hoodie, you know, some boots. That would be cute. And then the last item I have to show you guys today is this black satin top. And I did wear these. I did wear this, I should say. So again, this is a size. What size is this? This is a size medium. And it's just the black satin top, just like the champagne one that I showed you already. So I will just be inserting a video of how I wore it, how it looks on me, someone that is 5'2 and about 165 pounds. I say about because y'all don't need to know all my business. But um, yeah, but that's pretty much it guys. So that's everything that I have to show you today. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I will leave all of the information for my sizes and um, the link to each piece down below. So just let me know how you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and I'll see you guys next time.